All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be going over our weekly forecast from today all the way up until Sunday. We're going to be talking about the precipitation forecast, temperature forecast, and then our special notes segment at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But before we get started with the video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, looking at the precipitation forecast, you can see there is a lot going on. I'm going to go over it. This is probably the most filled out I've ever had a map on one of these weekly forecasts. There's just, you know, almost all of the spaces covered with some sort of color here. Now, starting off things in the Pacific Northwest, you can see there is a little bit of dry there uh, it, with, the, with the first shade of brown, which means that we're going to have slightly below average precipitation for that region there and kind of that northwestern region of Oregon through the western half of Washington there. Now, we do have... Three different areas of above average precipitation. We are going to start out though with the one here in kind of the north central and northwestern United States, starting in the very eastern regions of Oregon and Washington. And that moves over through the northern Rockies, down into some of the southern Rockies there in Colorado. You can see up into the Dakotas, Minnesota, and some of those northern Great Lakes regions as well. Note that this is in the first shade of green, meaning that this won't be too noticeable if you're only in that first shade of green, but overall it will be a little bit above average. Now we do have a drier than normal region which takes up about a third of the country if not a little bit more. This extends from some of those southern four corner states through Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, up into some of those uh, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio regions, down into the southern Appalachian Mountains, down through Georgia, and then it goes into the mid-Atlantic extending into DC, Delaware, and southern New Jersey as well. Uh, we do have a, that is all all those regions are in the lightest shade of brown there. We do have a darker shade here in the medium shade of brown. From Texas up through Oklahoma, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, and some of those Gulf states as well. It'll be a little bit more noticeable here. And overall, it is quite dry here for the southern United States. Uh, but you can see there is an exception here. And this is the area where Dorian is going to be heavily affecting the southeast coast from Florida up through Virginia. Uh, we can see that we have the first, second, and third shade of green here. Obviously, with a major hurricane tracking up the East Coast, we will have that third shade of green as areas are going to be well beyond their average up against the coastline there as far as rainfall is concerned. Uh, most areas' averages for the week is probably under an inch, if not right around it, and a lot of areas are going to be expecting you know, well beyond that over the next few days. So, obviously, we did pull out the third shade of green here for this region. If it wasn't for Dorian, though, you would be seeing drier than normal conditions. So, this is Dorian alone that is driving these conditions. We do have one more shade of green here from Ohio in through uh, western and, and northern Pennsylvania, up through New York, and also the New England regions of the United States. Again, this is only your first shade of green, so it won't be too noticeable. Now, we're moving on to your temperature forecast here, and you can see we do have only two areas of temperature anomalies, so a little less overwhelming than what we saw with the precipitation forecast. I am going to break this down for you guys. There is a lot to talk about with this one as well. So again, I will be breaking this down region by region for you guys. First off, we're going to start out with the temperature anomalies here. You can see for that Pacific Northwest region, we do have Washington and Oregon in that first shade of orange or yellow. That's going to be slightly above normal conditions as far as temperatures are concerned. Same story for California and some of those areas just to the east of the Rockies and those southern Rockies are all going to be in that yellow shade. As well as Oklahoma, Texas, and then in down into those Gulf states and the southeastern United States. All of these regions are going to be in that first shade of yellowish orange. And that's going to lead to above normal temperature anomalies. Now we do have a second shade of orange here. And that's for those four corner states. A lot of those regions in there. Nevada and then some portions of California, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. These areas are going to be having a little bit of a heat wave. We'll talk a little bit more about that in our special note segment. As they did earn a special note here for this warm, warm weather we are seeing. Or are going to be seeing here for the western United States. I will talk about that further but yeah, we're going to be seeing a moderately above average uh, temperature region for this area. Now, we do have below average temperature anomalies for the northeastern United States, Great Lakes region, north central United States. You can see that light blue shade extends from South Dakota through Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, into the mid-Atlantic states, and then up 
the northeast coast into those New England coastal states and regions. Uh, so these areas are going to be a little less noticeable with the below average temperatures, but it will be there on paper. You will be below average. And then we have our darker shade of blue here from North Dakota through Minnesota, those Great Lakes states, and then into the interior northeastern regions of the United States and New England regions of the United States. These areas will be experiencing more noticeable cold and more uh, consistent cold, I would call it. I think uh, these regions will be seeing below average temperatures from about the third of September all the way through till the end of this forecast range. So yeah, we will be seeing uh, well uh, below average temperatures for an extended amount of time for these regions. We are going to move on to our special note segment. Starting out with special note number one, obviously we got to talk about Dorian here. This is historic stuff happening. This storm is, you know, once every, I mean, it would be pretty, I, I don't even know if I can call it a once in every 10 or 20 year type storm. This is maybe beyond that. But as of recently, we've seen a lot of these storms. They come in, I've noticed that big storms uh, come in phases. I mean, from 2000, what was it, 2002 to 2005 or 2003 to 2005, we saw a ton of these major hurricanes. And, and then they kind of slowed down. And then we saw them pop back up a few years ago. And we still continue to see these. But So I think they come in waves. Uh, that's what I would I would say. It seems like they come in waves where we'll see them back to back to back and then it kind of slows down again. But uh, this is a very historic storm, in my opinion, for, you know, especially the Bahamas. But, you know, the East Coast is going to be feeling major effects from this one. Obviously, I don't think this is going to track uh, up the New England coast. It is possible the GFS is showing it possibly affect a lot of those regions up there. But for the most part, these pink regions, what did the important part is that these areas will be feeling effects. Not necessarily that it's going to track directly over you, but you will be feeling the effects of this storm if you are in this pink region. Major wind for some of these regions, heavy rain for some of these regions, and storm surge for some of these regions. All sorts of effects you will be feeling uh, all up and down the East Coast, but especially Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. The New England coast, obviously, if it did track over you, it would be a bit weaker, but still could be something major if it did happen to track up you guys. I highly recommend you check out my Dorian video for more details on that because I, I don't want to spend like five minutes talking about it here, but I did upload a Dorian forecast yesterday that you can get a little bit more detail on this storm and my thinking on it, but uh, basically all of these areas are going to be feeling major effects from this storm. We are going to move on to our second special note, which is a cool down for the north central Great Lakes and northeastern regions of the United States. Obviously, you saw my temperature anomaly forecast that I am expecting cooler temperatures for this region. So we are going to be having a cool down uh, through the 10th, actually, but at least through our 3rd through 8th of September, we will be seeing a cool down. Uh, I did have a video on this cool down, I think yesterday or the day before, so you can check that out as well. I think it was yesterday morning I uploaded that. Uh, where I talked about this cool down. But yeah, it is it is going to be quite major, and it's going to be our first fall cool down, which is pretty exciting. So a lot of areas, again, within the more interior regions of this blue color could be seeing further below average temperatures, for, but for the most part, all of these regions will be below average temperatures. Now for your third and final special note for this video, we have a mini heat wave here for the Four Corner State, Nevada, California, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. I was checking out the models as I was making this video, and the European and GFS models seem pretty certain we're going to have very far above average temperatures for this region, and a little bit outside of this as well, but mostly within this orange shade here, we will be seeing very far above normal temperatures, and we have been feeling this, but it looks to continue from the 2nd all the way through the 8th of September, which is very interesting. We do have, you know, far above average temperatures as of right now and as of the next week we will be seeing that so i i think it, you know we can call it a mini heat wave at this point as it's going to be very warm for an extended amount of time for you guys out there in the western united states again four corners nevada california idaho montana and wyoming as well Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as I was making our weekly forecast today. I like to bring these once a week. I've been late with the last two. I think the last one I did on Tuesday I ended up being a little bit late. And on this one, obviously, it's Monday today, so I was late again. But I want to get back in on track with these. It's not that I can't do it. I just keep forgetting. 
Uh, and then I'm going to actually need to set a reminder in my phone so I can always get these out on Sundays because I have been a little bit inconsistent and I do apologize for that. But these will be coming out more consistently. So if you're new to the channel and you did enjoy this video, we are going to be bringing these weekly on a consistent basis. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you are feeling the effects of Dorian, stay safe. If you're along the coast, heed all warnings, especially... Uh, mandatory evacuations. Make sure to obey those. Those are extremely crucial and we see, you know, uh, devastating effects in the areas usually that do receive these mandatory evacuations. So it is very important to obey those as your life could be in danger if you do stay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.